Hey, how's it swinging? Alright, so do that sync check. Down, up. Down, up. Hmm, let me check one thing real quick. Down, down, up, up. Yeah, we're good. All right, so checking volume balance. Might turn game down just a little bit, just to be on the safe side. We were in wrecked ship. Alright, so how are we doing here in the wrecked ship? Alright, checking, checking, test. Probably good, I assume. I assume that I will be told if not. So, time for tab suspension. And now, for turning volume on my end up, and now for playing video again. Well, wait. Time for hydration.
the video quality settings are gone again. Twitch is the weirdest thing in the known universe, and I stand by that. Alright, so, where are we headed? Where are we dropping? Probably going down. So let's go. Leave, leave me alone, whatever you are. I don't want any part of that. But, but it, this is this is just a nasty room. <laughs> this is just not. Oh, er, er, scooting around, scooting around for better positioning, and hitting my knee on every desk, which is uh just this one really, but still counts as every desk by virtue. You can go up here. That's the secret. That's my secret, Captain. Is that you can go up here. Oh. 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 I'm getting texts. I I sent off my 2DS to get it modded and apparently it still has not left the country M maybe I I'm not sure it went like five it went to like Miami Florida and then to like five other places and then apparently back to Miami Florida like that's that's cool no no idea what's going on Oh yeah I'll take that that is useful to me. Come, I'm sure that comes as a shock to many of you that having more health is useful, but it, it, it's true. It is not fake news. It is real news. Me news. Hmm. Hang on, let me just check some real quick. Yeah, that's good. Probably. You know, whatever. It's good enough. I take I take this way too seriously. I need to not do that. Because truly, no one cares. Not even cares about everything Johnny. Who, in that instance, has a very non-indicative -indic name. I'm gonna take more sips. Yes, I know. I know about Miami, Florida. It is truly my Miami Vice. You know, I get it, but this song really clashes with the rest of the soundtrack. <laughs> like, everything in this game is so moody except for this track. Well, maybe Green Brinstar. Okay, so we're down in... We're down in the mine. Gonna get us some diamonds tonight. This is a weird area, but it is, it is indeed an area. It's hard to tell what's going on. And I forget which way is actually progress. Oh, wait, right, that's right, I have this. I'm like Cyclops from the Marvel. Maybe. I don't actually know. 
I think he has laser eyes, right? That guy. Laser eyes would be a cool power to have, you know, unless you couldn't turn it off. That would suck. <laughs> but assuming I could, in fact, turn it off, I wouldn't mind having that. You can also apparently bust that one and then come up here. That would have been the more direct path. Yeah, generally though, you could say just about any superpower would be a nightmare with the condition of you can't turn it off. <laughs> like for instance, you can fly. Oh, but you can't turn it off. <laughs> You're just always flying. Uh, anyway, welcome to Meridia. Meridia Cosgrove. This is probably one of the most eerie areas in the game, if you ask me. It just... I don't know. It's like, the whole game's kind of like this, but I think this area, especially... It just kind of feels like this is not a place that humans were meant to tread. This feels like, it feels like you're in a nest or something, a nest, like a bug nest or something, except with giant alien creatures. It's a really claustrophobic feeling. But I like it, it's a nice, it's a, it's a cool atmosphere that this place has. Then again, I think in general, just undersea or the deep sea or like underwater or anything like that, kind of eerie if you play it the right way because like we still don't know what all the secrets are hidden in the deep sea. If, if I'm not mistaken, that is. But it's it's weird to think about that that we we've been to space but we still not ha we still have not explored all of our oceans. Kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies, don't it? Oop! Oh. I lost the spin. It's, it's weird to think that there was once a point where I had a ton of trouble with the wall jump. I mean, I'm not like an expert at it or anything, but the fact that I'm able to do four in a row with minimal issue is a big improvement over how I started out. <laughs> I'll say that much. Um, better just open that one up. Right, we'll solve this then. An underwater adventure? Wow. Okay, so what do I do if I want to get that guy to come back up? Do I gotta move him off screen? Probably. <laughs> yeah, this place is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, so definitely need to have the gravity suit for this. Because if we still had Samus's old underwater physics, then that would... Well, that wouldn't be very good, would it? No. This quicksand is like the worst thing in the galaxy. 
Can you even call it quicksand? It's just like underwater sand. Yeah, humans don't tread here for good reason. What's the deal with what's the deal with right here? Oh right, it's to help you get out of the quicksand. It's a weird way to go about doing that, but okay. Oh yeah, this is this is a cool area because you see, if you were just, like, not paying attention, you might not have noticed that there was anything particular here. But you notice that these little crab guys came from down there. So you can, uh, go down here. Hello, flames. Flames, the log. Is that, like... The wood equivalent to Dwayne Johnson. Flamsy the log. Johnson. Yeah, it ain't much of a joke, is it? But it's honest work. Okay, so we're back in Brinstar. Ugh. You can tell because the music is Brinstar. But you can go down here. Alright, so if you remember... Yeah, see that pipe we broke. You're supposed to come out that side and then be like, Hmm, wait a minute. I, I don't have access to all of Meridia. What's going on here? However, before I, you know, explore the rest of Meridia, I might do a little bit of cleanup on Brinstar. Real quick. There's at least two items I want to get back in the store. No, actually, that's, that's Criteria that I'm thinking of. But either way, I want to head back that way because there's two items I can get. I'll try to make it quick. Uh, naturally, the gravity suit helps you out with uh, the water here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I was trying to do something wacky. It didn't quite work out. Oh, yeah, the reason you haven't seen many bomb jumps is because I'm no good at them. It, it, you gotta get in a really, really precise rhythm to make any, like, decent use of bomb jumps. And I'm just no good at that. Here's the Samus Eaters, in case you missed them. Oh. And here's... There is, uh... Here's what they look like when they're eating Samus. <laughs> God, let's just, let's just saturate every room with enemies. I mean, honestly though, that's probably what you gotta do. After a while, Samus just has so much health. Yeah, there's no quick travel in this game. This isn't Castlevania. This isn't Samus Returns, so you gotta... You gotta go the long way around. But either way, we should be back in Criteria now. Yeah, there we are. It... But we're still not at the part of Criteria I want to be at.
Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, though, there were two things. Oh, yeah, it's it's down in uh, Turian. Oh. There's a few things that we should be able to check out now. Now that we have the power. Alright, so first thing. Well, that guy. But yeah, you can go down here. Go beneath the mother brain area. And there's something down here. Yeah, it's a missile tank. Not huge, but it's it's worth picking up, I guess. But that's not what I'm here for. Just scan real quick. Make sure there's nothing else wacky I want to pick up. God, just imagine being a space pirate and seeing this barreling for you. Not fun, I'm sure. So now we're in like old Brinstar. You know, back here in the intro. Okay. I'm gonna want to go this way. Yeah, there's enemies here now. But if you remember, yeah, there was this that we can now pick up. But that is not all. There is more. As you can see. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how you're meant to get this. But this is how I'm getting it. <laughs> so this is a weird room. Yeah, there's like invisible geometry that you can only see with the... With the x-ray visor. Why do all science fiction games and movies have planets exploding? Cause it's cool! But, there's still more. <laughs> yeah, two missile tanks in the same room. How about that? Anything else? Does not seem so. Alright, back down. Right, right, right. I mean, to be fair, Metroid 2 did not feature the planet exploding. You just kind of leave. Also, there's a secret passage here. that you can take. Yeah, they, they like jam-pack old Brinstar with like little secrets to come back and find. And it keeps going. You better believe it keeps going. Those guys are a pain in the butt. 
the big the big guys captain huge I don't know if there's anything cool in here possibly not and now we're back here you can you know open that to turn it blue there's a place up there I can go to that I haven't been to yet. Yeah, and I realize we're kind of just retreading old ground, but it's, you know, it's... That's what Metroid is, a little bit. Oh yeah, there's also down here that I was not able to go to before. Can now power bomb that and go through here. Oh, slug, slug, mon monsters. You know how it be. Oh, another energy tank. Yeah, the the Chozo were a little uh, were a little quirky. You know, hit hit things in rocks. It's fine. Possibly for Samus to find, who knows? Who knows? Set up statues everywhere of themselves? Yeah, that's that's cool. Mm. Okay, so up here. Yeah, there's a power bomb door. So let's go into that. Oh, mini dudes. Not to be confused with small dudes. M I N I dudes. Again, I don't know if that's. Uh, I, that's probably how you're supposed to get that. I don't think there's another way in here. Oh, another one. Another one. Yeah, I mean, I think this was a fruitful detour. There's like a... Grapple thing. And I think there's something over to the left here that I can do. I mean, we're pretty far in the game at this point. Oh, there's something up here. Up in the upper left. I mean, I would, whatever. We might, we might as well just check stuff out. Screw it, you know. What's the deal here? Yeah, those are falling blocks, as I, as I thought. Well, not falling bo blocks. They crumble. They're like, but functionally, they're like the donut blocks in Mario. Oh, I think, I think I know how you get down there. I think the thing is, uh, well, well, actually, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Probably just want to use a power bomb. It's a, it's a bit of a waste, but I'm lazy. I don't want to bomb all that. Oh, and I can go down here. Yeah, there's a there's a lot to check out in Bryn Star at the moment. Oh yeah, I never I never went through here. Well let's do that now. Oh, another new bridge. No, it's probably a bit more than a new bridge. Oh yeah, the reserve tank, basically the Mega Man X sub tanks. If I die then that should save me.
I, I don't know if that's picking up my my grandmother's yelling outside but there's always there's always more to find in these rooms it feels like No, my family is just like, hey, what if I just yelled really loud right outside Dustin's door? That would be cool, right? So how do I, how do I get out of here? Oh, okay. It's not even about anything important either. It's just like, <laughs> my grandmother's basically asking my sister where the cat is. It's like, it's like, there's a cat in there with you. It's like, gee whiz, I sure am glad that my stream is being crashed to look for the cat. <laughs> I should probably double check my gate one of these days. I feel like it's always... It's been a little wonky lately. Okay, power bomb, go down. Go down to power town. All right, so this is this is a special area. You'll see why in a minute. Well, well, not because of these guys. As special as these guys are, no, not because of them. Okay, now this room's a little tricky because uh. Yeah, because of that. <laughs> so it may take me a couple trips through to get that power. The power tank, the energy tank. No, actually not a boss fight. You'll you'll see in just a second. Nope, no, get off of me. Get off of me. God, I hate these guys. They suck. They, they are stinky. Yeah, Samus cannot walk over one tile gaps like Mario can. Alright, so. You see... You see these guys? Yeah, this is where you're supposed to learn about the wall jump. You have access to it the whole game, but this is where you're supposed to learn it exists. Also, you can get some power bombs here. Oop. Anything else? So yeah, these like little koala monkey guys. I feel like there's something in here worth noting. Yeah, it's like you can vomit. Oh no, wait, that's where the other door leads. Okay, now I need to get this because this is this isn't a fake item or anything. There we go. You have it the whole time. Tell me why people like this game the most again. Just people just think it's the most refined Metroid game, and people actually like that you have it the whole time because it means that if you know about it, you can uh, do wacky stuff way earlier than you're supposed to. And a lot of people are really into that. Especially speedrunners. Er 
Okay. Okay, so yeah, we, we don't gotta go up there this time, so we'll just go this way. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah, but now we're getting meta, because technically I am Samus. Samus is me. So if I know it, then she knows it. And we're getting into kind of a meta... A meta aspect of the thing. Because Samus has knowledge, because I have knowledge. Alright, so there's one more place we need to go here. Oh, gotta clear out the dudes. Too many dudes. Alright, so yeah, you, you do the speed booster, and then you fall through the floor and you're like, well, crap. <laughs> but then, there's this guy. And he shows you how to do the shine spark. So that's the other have it for the whole game, but you're not really supposed to know you had it. The jumping guys are the bad guys, because... Oh, I guess... I guess he's talking about the X-Parasite from Fusion. I, mean, I doubt it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much stake into what... I wouldn't put much stake into what Matt Pat says, personally. Matthew Path Pathew. I can't believe it. Matt Pat was the leader of the space pirates the whole time. Not Ridley. Not Mother Brain. It was him. Game theory. What if I was behind it all along? What if you were powerless? Powerless to stop me. Okay. Okay, now we're back in Red Red Star. Okay, there's like one little blue spot up there. Probably can get that. So what's 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 all this then? How do you how do you get down there? Maybe you gotta go from like this direction. On the way, is this is this the room where you gotta you gotta forego all common sense and jump right into a Samus eater? Hmm, no. Maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Dustin, play Freddy in space to... No, I think I'm okay on that one. <laughs> Thank you for asking, though. What's in here? Power bombs. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you say there. I'll, I'll always take more ammunition. Oh, but if you use a power bomb here, this might be where you're supposed to get the power bombs. I have so much to do, man. I got so many streams in the pipeline. I got so many pipes in the streamline. I'm streamlining the pipes. Your plumbing has never been better. 
Nope, let me out. Let me out! Alright, now back to Meridia we go. Herp. 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 Yep. Yorp. Diagonals in this game are a little weird. Is there something down here? I feel like there was something down here. There might not be anything down- there's nothing down here. I ne I never thought there was anything down there. Oop, weep. Oop. Excuse me, Mr. Cactus. Oop. Okay, well thank thank you for that. Okay, so let's just take a quick save. Yeah, so now that we are we are thoroughly caked up in health and energy capsules. Let us continue through Meridia. Oh, dang it, I, I keep, don't mean to use the supers. And now, now I have to use the super. What's, what's going on? What's, what's in here? Oh, no, wait, this is the, uh... Yeah, this is that one, this is that one room. Mer Meridia is kind of more of a ma crap. <laughs> okay, now let's just walk back around, I suppose. Use another super. I was going to say Meridia is more of a maze than other areas and I, I don't say that lightly because Metroid's kind of just a maze to begin with the whole game's a maze So just time to do some exploring. Just uh, run around. Hoop, hoop, burp. Oh, hello, Mr. Pirate. So what's your deal? Why am I powerless to stop you? The under the underwater pirate is especially. Resilient. Okay, I'm in here. Okay, that's a cool invisible path. I'm glad that's there. I don't know why it's there, but I'm glad it is, I suppose. Let me out. I guess it's if you get down there and you can't get back up. Yeah, like this music's just so eerie and kind of depressing. It just, it really makes you feel, like, lost in here. Okay, whatever that was. Whatever that guy was. The Brain Expander. Okay, so this is like the, yeah, this is like the top of the left room. There's two items down there. I could potentially get those. Oh, 
Yeah, see, this this one's a pain in the butt to get because you gotta like shine spark up into a one tile wide gap. Not easy. Not an easy thing to just go and do. I mean, I'll probably try to do it in a minute, but... So the other one was like a... So like, what's, what's the deal up here? What's the deal, yo? Oh. Cause I'm free. Oh yeah, a soup. Yeah, you come in from the right there. Yeah, there's probably like something in the other room. <laughs> you like how that still hurt me? Like, <laughs> I get out of the room. And it's just like, yeah, we got, here's that damage we owed you. That'll be three ninety five. Oh, yep. But that guy is continuing to help. By showing me that there is a secret passage here. Again, how is this the best game in the series? Because it is. I mean, it's a, it's a matter of opinion. Okay. Here. Okay, gotta gotta do some swinging. Oh, I forget. There, I think there's something up there. Like in the breakable zone. How long does it take to break this? Oh, it but it regenerates pretty fast, so I don't know if there is. Well, you know, if that's what tickles your peach, if that's how you get your jollies, fine. Alright, so what's going on in here? I think I heard a door open. Alright, where is this? Oh, this is back in Ye Olde Brinstar. So that's a shortcut back to Brinstar if you need it. Her oh, okay. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. Oh, you can you can grapple these guys. I I have n I never realized that in my entire time of playing this game. Her, her, okay, whoop. Whoop. Hit. Her. Okay. We're we're getting there. Okay, we got there. Didn't take that long to get there. The road trip was pretty short. Oh, nope. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. 
Invisible. What? Well, no, it's not. It's not an invisible wall. It's the opposite. It's the exact opposite of an invisible wall. It's a wall that looks like it's solid, but isn't. It's a wall that's not actually there. Okay, so... So what's the deal with here? What is the deal with here? I don't know if there is a deal. Ain't getting your Black Fridays on here. No, the opposite is a visible wall. Well, this can be debated. It's, it's probably not so simple. No, Miles, we're not playing Contra. Listen, everyone, we're playing Metroid, and that's final. Don't make me turn this stream around. Oh, going down. <laughs> Play the EU version with robots. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys, you guys can't have, you guys can't have killing people. It's not allowed. So what's the deal down here? Oh, that's just like nothing. The deal is nothing. I I will probably always be fascinated by like the bizarre changes they made to games over there. I mean, granted, not to say that America has been totally immune to it, or the United States, rather. Because, I mean, North, if we're just talking, like, if we're talking North and South America, that encapsulates a lot of things. Yeah, Dynamite Hetty especially, like, oh, hey, Americans, Americans can't read. <laughs> Get that story out of here. Though, in reality, I feel like that's probably less... That one's probably less like, oh, Americans are stupid and more like, uh, we're lazy and don't want to translate everything. I mean, turning the doll into a castle robot, though. Or the geisha into generic kind of... Well, generic is... A strong word but like robot person super fighting robot let's have a save hey gang let's head to the save point Like Fred, we just saved five minutes ago. Oh yeah, and you can just kind of, you can kind of knock these guys around all day long. If that's how you get your jollies. Yeah, this is an interesting setup they don't use too much in the game. Her 
Samus can like attach herself to the wall. You can go up there. I think I've already been up there. Some no, no, it I like intersected that room when I was going down a pipe. All right, so these guys are weird. Uh, they're not Metroids, even though they may look like it. They're Mock-Troids. I'm guessing the Space Pirates were trying to make their own Metroids to uh, less than successful results. Yeah, they're, they're essentially to Metroids what Galoombas are to Goombas. Yeah, I remember. I remember this puzzle. Oh, now we got a boss. Like a mini boss. Some, some description. Snake. Water snake. Colonel, I'm laying my eggs in a wall. Um, Snake, I think you're taking this name a little too far. Too far, huh? Okay, so... Game says there's an item here. I don't see an item. Item down here. No, this is like progress. Where is it? Where's the item? Is it just like the mini boss or is there something else? You can't you can't you can't hide your secrets from me. You have them, and I know you can't keep them from, from me forever. Well, when in doubt, power bomb. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe something else will happen later, I forget. Oh, it's this room. I know this room. This room sucks! Mm, let me up! God, but this... Uh, same as... Uh, Super Metroid is in the running for probably the most annoying quicksand in any video game. Alright game, how you want me to do this? I think you're maybe supposed to do the run. Okay, yeah, then you go this way. You go this way. And then the game... Freaking... Like... I, I, I don't want to say the word I'm thinking. Yeah, I'll take some... I'll take some items. All 
All right, so now that we have some space. Okay, so yeah, I see what's going on. This this whole lower area is a jape. It's a ruse. Okay, I made it. All right, the rollies. Let me on by. Let me on by. These guys are weird. These guys are real weird. Nope. Oh, okay, this is like missile refill zone. I mean, yeah, sure. I can use some missiles. A lot of trouble to go through for a missile recharge. Okay, so I could use the grapple beam, or I could just do this. Until the game decides I can't do this anymore. been thinking about old memes lately, haven't I? Yes, this meme was found buried underneath Las Vegas, Nevada. In the middle of the Nevada desert. Eats spicy goodness, gets eaten by Metroids, and dies. Oh, round we go. Round we go. There was just a period, man, where Wendy's had the most obnoxious ads on the planet. Y'all y'all know what I mean. Don't act like you don't know. Well, may, maybe Langton doesn't know. Maybe that d didn't apply to British land. I don't know, but I can confirm, though, that... Or I can attest, at least, to the fact that in America they sure were annoying for a while. Wendy's is oh so Wendy's isn't even a thing over there So it was it was more extreme than I even even anticipated Anything anything oh yeah these spikes you may notice these spikes don't move, they're not real. <laughs> that's, that's the twist, huh?
Okay, I think we're approaching a boss. Oh. Oh, we, oh my god, when did you lose your passion for food? Alright, so here's a boss. Alright, so... Fun fact, you see these guys. It's like, super hard to even notice. But apparently they're spelling out something in like, kanji. Oh, and then there's Big Mama. I forgot what this boss's name is. Nope. Nope. Oh. But yeah, it was like... I think what it's spelling out was like some kind of declaration of love to their to one of the programmers fiance at the time I believe yeah you can dodge that it's it's not too bad nope nope so she tries to she tries to like get you at least I think it's a she. I don't know. Does it really matter? I'll answer that for you, it doesn't. So you just want to avoid the, the globules. It is extremely difficult to not get hit in this fight for me. Thank you. Okay, there we go. That's so weirdly sad. But, we now have the space jump. Hopefully you guys remember the space jump. That's the, that's the one where we can jump a lot. And it's still kind of weird to time it. So, the wall jump is no longer necessary, really. Alright, now where are we headed? Probably, the, the last boss I think we have left to fight is old Ridley himself. So, we're probably going to need to head to Norfair. Don't have the screw attack yet, though. But that door is open now. Probably to give us a neat little shortcut out of here.
Mm, still some stuff hanging around in Meridia. Still some little items that I left by the wayside. Yeah, that's the one thing though about the space jump is that until you get until you get the screw attack, you're kind of wide open while you're using it. Because if you shoot, then, well, you don't have the somersault anymore, so you lose the ability to space jump. Which is not really something you want to do, usually. You want to retain access to this bad boy. Anything of particular interest here? Doesn't feel like it. Uh, except for me getting rammed up the butt by every single spike in the universe. Oh yeah, we've, we've been here. We've been here. There's still a passage up that way. That we can check out. See if there's cool stuff hanging around. Probably is. Yeah, we can go up here. I need some health. I don't need it that bad, but I need some help. Oh yeah, another one of those uh, clumps of enemies that I'm convinced are just there so you can grind stuff. Oh god, more space pylos. Oh wait. Oh. oh, we get the plasma beam. Use your plasma beam. Yeah, and, and then it turns out that's what we need to kill those guys. So it's probably just as well. I think there might be like an upgrade to the morph ball somewhere in Meridia, so I am probably going to spend a little bit more time here before we go off to fight Ridley. Alright, so... There's still a guy hanging out in here. Guy I gotta kill to get out of here. Yep, he's right there. All right. I slowly become more and more God. All right, so what else, what else have we got in here that we haven't done yet? There's a... Uh, there's like three rooms, and there's also that room with the boss. I never figured out what the heck was going on in there. Hoop. Okay, yeah, let's just head down. There's something on the far right there as well. Go down the tubes. Is this, did you have to power bomb? Thank God. I didn't want to waste a power bomb on this. Oh, yeah, that's right. This was like a. Or, oh yeah, now I got the space jump so I can just like do this. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, this is what I was thinking of. 
where you want to break that and then go up. Still use the wall jump a little bit. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, we're just gonna let this guy... Oh no, wait, no, wait. No, we're not. Because we gotta do that. Alright, so now we just gotta let this guy, you know, do his thing. Ow. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, do me a solid. Just kind of clean up that, that dirt. That sand. Take that sand. You know this is something they just programmed because they could. They were like, hey, won't this look red if we do this? And it takes three million years for him to get through this, this tunnel. But it's alright. We forgive him. And there's a snail. Crab. Snail. Like, hermit crab. Guy. I don't know if you can actually kill him. Oh yeah, I think here is where I was thinking of the morph ball upgrade. And it's... I, I don't think it's essential, but it's good to have. The spring ball. Basically, now we can jump in morph ball form, so that is... That's useful to have. Um, Jennifer says I look like Dunky. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can see a little bit of a resemblance. I don't, <laughs> I know I don't sound anything like Dunky though. But then again, Dunky doesn't sound like I think he should sound. How dare you, donkey. Donkey, how, how dare you not be black? There's also a room somewhere in here where you can just kind of sink down. And I somehow, I think, avoided that entirely. But either way, I, I have the spring ball. That's That's what's important to me. Besides my friends, my comrades. Yeah, so still like two major rooms with items in them I can go to. I really like the cascading water effect in here though. Oh no, I was I was just talking about how I, I really like the atmosphere of this place. Well, maybe just talking about it is a bit of an overstatement, but I was talking about it. It, it. it really feels like this is not an area humans were meant to be in. Like, and like, yes, I understand that that's kind of the whole game, but especially here, like, it feels like a bug nest or something in terms of atmosphere. Like, it feels like, like, this, this place is just like the Zebesian wildlife. You know, you were never meant to set foot in here. I don't know. I'm bad at words. I'm bad at many things. Sometimes this it's just like that, though. My sister is messaging me on Discord in the middle of a stream to ask me what my turnip price is. <laughs> Like, like, son, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. <laughs> she needs to know, apparently. I don't, I don't know. No, I'm just, I'm just Foghorn Leghorn, that's all. That's all. 
All right, so let me see if I can, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get this uh, upgrade. All right, so right about here is where you gotta do it. Let's see. Yeah, like this, like this seaweed right here. That's where you gotta do the shine spark. Not sure how you get to that room below the save point. Oh yeah, don't worry, I, I know you have to do the boost. I was just trying to figure out where you have to do the boost. Oh, dang it. <laughs> doors, doors gotta be open. Or else it doesn't work. Oh, well, it also doesn't work if I do that. Hmm, I'm debating. I'm debating where I should, uh, where I should, like, store the Shine Spark. Like, should I do it in here? Or should I do it in the next room? Oh, well, of course it doesn't help if I do that. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Super Metroid. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a weird it's a weird tank to go about getting though, I'll say that much. I mean, just thank God it's optional, I'll say that much. Oh, nope. I think I do need to store it in, like, the previous room. Well, I'm glad that the stream's working out for you. And yes, uh... I will say, though, that the streams are running at 60 FPS, so it's great if you're getting that. One of the joys. That's one of the joys of having a new, better computer now. There we go. Yeah, it turns out my network is actually pretty lenient on the whole thing. It's just mostly having the computer to handle it. And luckily, now I do. So you can enjoy Super Metroid in 60 FPS glory as it was always intended. I mean, you're gonna get Super Nintendo RGB artifacting, but... You know, it's it's like I always say, sometimes it, it really do just be like that. Gotta fill in, gotta fill in the, the map space. Gotta fill in the map space. That hasn't bothered me so far, but I still need to do it. Okay, so yeah, so the room down there. Mm, thank you. Is there anything right here? Oh, the the way that it very gradually fades out always throws me off. Like it's, I always expect it to be more abrupt, but no. Metroid's just like. You lightly tap the start button, and you you don't realize anything's wrong at first, and then it starts fading out. Okay, so that's the fallen blocks, the crumble blocks. Okay. All right, so what's what's down here, or what's up here? Where have I been? Yeah, I, I've been over there. It's it's to the right that I have not been. All right, gang, let's get the stuff. Okay, so what what do we got here? What are we working with? Oh, got to shine spark some more. Hmm, don't, I mean, I guess they want you to build it up in here. 
Yeah, they want. I guess they want you to build it up in here and then take it into the other room. M maybe. Hmm. I, d I don't know actually. I don't actually know. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, you can kill those guys. It's 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 not even a big deal, really. Hmm. Yeah. See, now I'm not. No. 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 It's down here. You're supposed to do it down here. There we go. And what was over here? Soup. Alright, so anything this way, doubt it. Yeah, this room is still perplexing me down there. Okay. <laughs> I love doing that. It's like the poor booger. The poor nasty little booger. Oh yeah, you can you can you can just kind of slip on down here. Any hidden passages in the tunnel of dreams? Not that I can see. Oh, but there's stuff in here. What is it? What is it, boy? Ooh. You. you <laughs> Okay, you're probably- yeah, you want to do that. Oh, another reserve tank. I forgot there was more than one. Yeah, so needless to say, we're- we're pretty well set off at this- Well... I don't know what I'm trying to say. We're pretty well off at this point. Okay. It's it's gotta be the secret has gotta be here in this room. Apparently not. Okay, I guess we're sinking. Somewhere there's there's somewhere to go down. <clears throat> I know it, I'm sure of it. It's right here. And there you go. Like I said, still not sure about about that. There's only so many angles one could approach it from the... So, I'm willing to bet probably from the left. Or like... Or, or maybe... No, I, I feel like I've checked this room. And the answer is nine. Has he taken on Dragon yet? Yes, I have. And yeah, that's what the name of that thing was. I couldn't remember it for a minute there. Just got Ridley. Oh, God. Well, you know what? It's that, that room... It's not important right now. Let's let's just head to the Ridley town. Ridley Town, USA, the town of dreams. As long as your dreams are nightmares. So, 
Hmm, how did you get to... Nor uh, it's like over here, isn't it? Norfair? I think this is where Norfair is. Alright, so probably the bottom right-ish here. But there's also an item I didn't get. I can, can do this now. Alright, let's just, let's head on over to item. Hoop, hoop, boop. Space jam. No. No. Abort. Leave that one in the drafts. That it, that it is. Good sir, that it is. Okay, so yes, I am immune to lava at this point, I wasn't sure. Yeah, just, just no big deal, just wait around in the lava. Oh yeah, this is why I couldn't get this item. But now I can. And it's a missile. So, I feel the need to ask. Since it doesn't seem like this game's gonna take too long, and I didn't expect it to, really. Uh... How would you guys feel if I immediately moved on to fusion after this? How would you guys feel about that? Oh, third reserve tank. Because I, I think it would be nice to get the big four Metroids out of the way. And maybe end up doing Prime down the line. Oh, we're down here. We're in the lava. Just taking a hot bubble bath. Oh, oh dang, we can we can jump pretty high too with the boost. The boost bu oh you can also use this. <laughs> There's also that. If you uh come back here earlier. But since I have the spring ball, don't really need to do that. Not really not really necessary for me to do that. So I need to I need to go to like down I need to go like down right. Oh, I thought there was an enemy in there. There's an enemy in there though. And he poked me. He burnt me ever so slightly with his fireness. His burning intensity, his passion. Okay, down we go. I I keep getting lost. Like the mini map is is pretty helpful, but it's not always the most helpful. Especially since this is one of those games where, like, one thing I appreciate Castlevania does is it shows you, um, like, where the exits are in each room, so you can, like, see how these rooms connect to each other. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the room where you needed the grapple beam, but now I got the space jump. Okay, surely that's like not what the dot is indicating, right? No, maybe it is. Oh well, full energy. Works for me. Now let's just spin on back.
Okay, let me uh, let me restart my capture card just to be safe. Just to be safe with the sink. Oh yes, the screaming head orbs. I'm so sad that we do not have the screaming head orbs in real life. Alright, so yeah, you go here, and you, you go up here, and then it's like, oh, hey, look, it's a big old Ridley mouth. So, normally, if you go in here, like, obviously, you go in the lava and you die. But, since I have a, the suit... <laughs> yeah, I mean... Sometimes there's just not much to add. Like, I, I want to... I want to clarify that... Sometimes I just don't have much to, to say to anything. So I'm like, yeah. Video games sure did disappear. Anyway, Norfair. <laughs> but, but it came back, don't worry. The video game returned. So here's our introduction to this song. I think I think I want to go to the left though. Yeah, this song comes back in a uh... Yeah, see this is this is the extreme lava. You still don't want to fall in this. This this appears in a uh, Metroid Prime. And also, Samus returns. Yes, we're doing this again. go down yet. Okay, yeah, I did actually. Oh, oh. Ah, oh the greasers. Yeah, this is another one of those rooms, for the record. Yeah, see. Oh. Oh, yeah. He can grab your. He can grab your soups. He can also, or he dodges out of the way of your normal missiles. So, yeah, that ain't that ain't working. So you gotta use like the charge shot on him, I think. Uh oh, power bombs, do those work? It didn't seem to do any damage to him. So I think it is just the charge shot. I like I like that the game's giving me all these uh, super missiles I'm incapable of using. You could probably dodge some of these uh, attack patterns. You know, if you're God. Oh, uh, there we go. There's the old screw attack. Yeah, so now we have defenses. I 
I don't know which door I want to actually go in. Yeah, I had a feeling it was something like that. Okay, so yeah, I guess the dots do indicate, uh... Do indicate the recharge stations. So I guess there wasn't an item in that other one. Or at least that I know of. Oh. Yep, you can just kind of spin into these guys. Spin! No! Oh, yep, I'm getting, I'm taking damage. Yep. <laughs> Dang it, video game. How dare you be a video game. Yeah. Herp. Alright, so you, what's your deal? Power bomb? Can I screw attack you? Yep. I can do that. Okay, so this is where the two paths merge up. But you need to go through that other path in order to get the, the screw attack. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Okay, there's definitely stuff up here. You can't hide it from me. Uh, yeah, I think I died a few times to being hit through the door. Not, not fun. Hmm. What's the deal with this? Is crumble block? Yeah, crumble blocks. I, I won't say that I'll never go back to NES Metroid, but I will say that that game's that game's a little rough. There's a lot of cool things about it, but it's a, it's a little on the rough side. I mean, there are hacks that make it better, but you know I, I ain't about that. At least not for the stream. Hey guy, how you doing? Uh, uh, no. Please, space pirate. Golden Space Pirate Boy. <clears throat> Alright, what's up here? What kind of... Okay. Just, <laughs> just eat my space jump, please. Please, you look like you haven't eaten in days. Please, take my space jump. I mean, technically speaking, technically speaking, you could make a photocopy of the Mona Lisa and then draw on it. So I don't know. And there are fan edits of Star Wars. So I don't. I, I don't know. Art. It, art is weird. I think that's that's the conclusion I've come to. Let's, let's head on down in the hole. Oh, I didn't mean to use a power bomb! Yeah, well, I guess I see... I guess I see hacks as derivative art, so... That's kind of why I don't... Th that's why I don't, like, want to do them for the streams, because it's like... They're, they're good, but they're not quite the original. So I don't feel like I'm getting a pure representation of what the original is by doing it that way. That being said, if there's like games that I decide to restream at some point, then probably. 
Oh, well, that's that's all good. You know, whatever. Let's go through the, the tunnel. Now let's place another power bomb because he's, you know, use a bunch of power bomb. Oh, those those statues disappeared. There could be stuff. Did you say for Dynamite Heady Round Two you would play the Japanese one? Uh, yeah. When I when I go back. Uh, when I when I go back to Dynamite Heady, I'm, I'm going to play like a translation of the the Japanese version, basically, to show you guys like what it, you know what it looks like there. That being said, I I don't know if I consider that like part of like the improvement hack thing because. Technically speaking, it's it's just the Japanese version of the game in a language I can read. <laughs> Play the Famicom Disk System version of the original Metroid. I could eventually. You know, we'll have to see. There are many plans. There are many plans in this world of ours that I have made. And God knows I am at a terrible pace. I mean, the Famicom disc system is pretty cool. I mean, I, I won't disagree with you there. I was gonna get a real one, but then I broke my Famicom. I mean, I have an adapter, I guess. I, that would probably work. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's the twins. They're here. I forget what their deal is. I think you also have to use the charge shot on them. I mean, also... Uh, you, I think, yeah, you gotta wait for them to, like, do their move. I mean, I'd like to probably have an NES and a Famicom that have both been RGB modded, but that is... That's a lot of money, you know what I mean? I don't I don't got that kind of money to just spend willy-nilly right now These guys were, were always like the weirdest part of this game Uh, I wonder what the process is for RGB modding a Famicom compared to an NES from what I understand It's, it's not actually too different like internally. They're not too different like it's not it's not like a day and night thing. It's mostly just the cartridge slot, really, and obviously whatever you need for expansion audio. Like, I mean, it's actually it's possible to get expansion audio on your NES if you if you mod it, which I'd like to do eventually, but I haven't gotten around to that. Probably need to grind a little bit of health here. Super Metroid's not a game where a lot of grinding is necessary, but I think I may want to do it here. Also, no drop frames compared to last time, so that's good. Of course, it helps if I don't take damage to these guys. I mean, I guess I have two reserve tanks, so there's that, but... I don't know. I don't know. We're doing it. Wish it was like those little guys. Those guys that split into five different guys. Burgers and fries. How many golden bones do I have? That was... that was weird. Oh. Yeah. Finished. Finished ye old Luigi's Mansion 3 recently. Pretty good game. I can't help but compare it to the original, but it's a it's a pretty solid it's a pretty solid title. Definitely definitely has a lot more character than Dark Moon though. 
And I, I think in the future I'll probably be more likely to revisit the third game than Dark Moon. Though I will say that the original short link makes it more attractive for replaying usually. That's the one benefit to being short, is that I, I don't feel quite as, like, uh, intimidated by the game. So if I want to, like, give it another go. Oh. Er. I mean, I can just do this. Oh, yeah, of course, got one of these guys hanging out outside. Imagine your entire purpose is to block a door. All right, boy, come on. Come on, boy. Let's do it. Let's fight. I mean, yes, Miles, bouncers exist, but... <laughs> but, I mean, bouncers can do other things besides guard doors. Like, you know, they can go home. They can watch TV. They can eat at a restaurant. You know, all that, all that fun stuff. And keyholes aren't alive. At least not yet. At least if we're not talking Alice in Wonderland. All right, Ridley. Let's, let's, we're going to get into spam territory now. But I don't like spam. Okay, Ridley, come on. Come on, you're red. You're red. Stop wasting my time. Just uh, pump him, pump him full, pump him full of missiles. There you go. I think by my standards, that fight went pretty okay. Okay, give me the health. Okay, and not much health. Okay, so let's go in here. Oh, wait a minute. The capsule. The infant Metroid is no longer in captivity. It's loose. Well, now to go to Turian, I do believe. Might as well just do that. That won't that shouldn't take too long. Just finish up the game. But since there's no fast travel, we gotta, like, make this whole expedition out of it. But back we go nonetheless. Oh, I forgot these guys respawned. Oh well, I'm leaving. Also, man, Ridley's Ridley's a cheapskate. Didn't even give me an upgrade. Did not even give me an upgrade for beating him. Like, wow, dude, way to be the life of the party. Get me out of here. 
better save just in case. The upgrade was a free movie at Blockbuster. Oh well, that ain't gonna be no good to me no more. Alright, so... I just... I just received a very bizarre Discord notification. And that's all I'll say about it. Maybe some of these alien planets still have Blockbuster. Oh, well... Can't go back this way. I mean, maybe some of them have Block Bleaster. And as you know, that's better. Okay, I wasn't- I didn't go this way. Okay, cool rock. Cool hurt rock. That's red. I'm down. What? What a rip. I guess this is a return path. No, nothing. Guess not. Guess nothing. Well, back down we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. Literally hold up. No, nothing there. To, do I have to go through the lava? The lava? Okay, real talk. Who pronounces it lava? What kind of hideous monster would do that? Okay, guess we're we're braving it. We're braving the depths. Might not make it. Made it. Don't know how I didn't go this way. I am extremely low on health right now. Okay, thank you. Oh, no, no, please, please stop. Please. Please. Oh, oh, uh, no, 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 no. But at least I can do that, which is always fun. Okay, now, which is the way out? Okay, it's to the left here. Well, hopefully... Hopefully we can get out of here quickly. Yep, because it's right here. Pardon me. Uh, 
Let's just save, because I'm in constant danger. Okay, now which way? I guess we can go left. Oh. Uh, basically, I had to wade through the lava. I had to take a warm bath. Okay, what? Well, which way now? Okay, I guess left. Herp. The old spicy keychain. Even spicier than normal. Okay, going up. Going up. Okay, now I just need to get basically the criteria again. I can swing by my ship and get a health refill. So let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Also, I can kill these guys. I could probably do it with a super missile before, but now it is easy and convenient. And isn't that really all you can truly ask for when you're committing mass murder on an entire species? They even have these be made out of, like, screw attack blocks, so it's easier to get up here with it. How nice of them. And then they make it to where <laughs> you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, these guys again. These knuckleheads. Sound is way ahead of video. That's weird. Either way reset the thing and they can't even touch me with the the needles it's good that's good
overshot the ship. Oh wait, there should be a room to the upper right here I can go to now. But first, let us recharge. Gotta wait the whole time while it's, you know, refilling. I can go up this way now. Her. No, I don't think the game itself would break me. Mostly just the special stages and getting to them. But just playing it should be fine. I've gotten through it before and I'll get it again. Where am I going? Okay. Okay, now to Torian, the last area of the game. And I don't think it's too long, so we can probably knock that out before, like, three hours has passed. Here we go. You have the six golden coins, proceed to Wario's castle. I mean, basically. This area is like disgusting <laughs> sounding. Like, yeah, I needed, I needed like mother brains intestinal noises. Thank you. Oh, Metroid. The actual for real deal this time. Oh, please get off. Please get off. Please get off. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do to get these guys off of you. But I lost a ton of health from that. But defeat them the same way you always have. And there's no like alpha metroids or anything like that in this game. Just regular old vanilla metroid. Same old, same old. Thank <laughs> you. 
I really, I really have no idea what I'm doing with this. Missiles? Miss, miss, no? What do you do with this? I forget, like... It should be the bombs, right? Can you just freeze them from here? No? How... how bizarre. Because there should be a way to get them off of you. I might die. It's possible. Do these things drop items? The Rinkas? I, I, I honestly do not know. Oh, super lava. Power bombs. Hmm, well, I swore I was trying that. I mean, I'll try it again if it happens again. Can't advance, though, till you take them all out. Alright, something very weird about this area. Gotta use, gotta use supers to kill these guys. So you know they're tough. Alright. Statue crumbling the dust. Not at all ominous. Oh, there's one of those guys. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh God, it's got me. It's got me. Yes, indeed. That was the baby Metroid. And it's, uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big now. They grow up so fast. And also, it didn't kill me. Still a, still a good boy. I mean, it does present a problem, though. That's... That's a big, that's a big Troid. Gonna be hard to get that back to the space station. But either way, I have to go murder Mother Brain. So I'll worry about that in a minute. <sighs> I'm sleepy. God, that noise is so disgusting. Okay, I mean, do you have to? Yeah, you have to shoot these with missiles. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, shoot them with missiles. Shoot them with ye old missiles. Just like we did in the first game, except I didn't do that. 
And now I can aim diagonally so it's even easier. Yo! Yo mama! What's up? I have come to murder you. So just come on and eat your missiles. Yeah, it's not much of a final boss. Yeah, that's because it isn't. <laughs> yeah, we get this terrifying looking chicken beast. This is our final boss. <laughs> get more missiles off of her. Yeah, she has some new moves, though. That much is certain. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Uh, that's a pretty good new move. Can't move. Oh, here's the move. Here's... Yeah, unfortunately for her, I have a ton of health. Oh, Samus is having a hard time standing up. Oh, yeah, it's the boy. did not feel good. <laughs> oh, it's latching onto me, but my health is going up. But Mother Brain, uh, not, not quite dead. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Payback time. Oh, and also the, the planet's gonna blow up. Gotta get out. <laughs> Gotta get out. Not down here.
Not down here either. What's funny is that if you're playing this game in a randomizer, it's actually possible to just get randomly sent here. <laughs> Without the exploding. But still here nonetheless. Also video games in their self-destruct sequences that are already blowing things up before the timers even run out. Gotta love those. Can the animals be saved? I'll give it a shot. Oh. Lava rising. It's such a bad sign. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Yeah, I think we'll be good for saving the animals. I think we can make that work. All right, animals saved. Gotta make a little bit of a detour, but yeah, yeah, I got time. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, you see that little pixel? Three hours and 25 minutes. Yeah, good game. Good quality game. Must have Super Nintendo library material. Thank you, assuming that's not sarcasm. <laughs> But for real, on the topic of speedruns, for real, if you haven't before, go and watch a Super Metroid speedrun after this. It's, it's, it's crazy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm rereading the message. I, I may have, I may have, uh, Misread the message, yes. <sighs> the 
Did something happen with my SNES? I don't think so. Could be an SD to SNES thing, I don't know. Didn't sound, it didn't sound weird to me though. But then again, I didn't really remember what it sounded like. Seventy-seven percent. Not not too bad. So I forget. Does it just hang on this screen? It does. It do that thing where it just hangs on this screen. Well, I'll see you.